Hello everybody and welcome once again to All of Fabric 3. Today we are carrying on with modern industrialization and we are going to build the electric quarry. So let's get started. The first thing you might notice is I've actually built, put down the other machines that we didn't have down last time. So I put the furnace where it was before, put the electrolyzer here and I've put the chemical reactor on the end here. We built those, I just didn't set them up last time. I'm actually crafting some um, advanced machine kit holes here aren't I so that's going on I think that's still working I'm not sure it's been a while so it's crafting some silicon dust ah okay that's the manual process I have to do that manually let's get those cooked put those into here the one bit that's manual is the silicon bit right okay I've got some recipes prepared as normal so let's go and have a look at these this one is large motors they're reasonably expensive this one actually is probably the cheapest of the machines we're going to do today that's the centrifuge and we need the centrifuge because the uses of the centrifuge were if i remember rightly most importantly were chrome crush dust i thought that was using three ruby dusts but maybe i'm wrong and we've got other bits and pieces in here that a few other recipes which are actually important. I think this was maybe another one that's actually, no, it's not really. Anyway, let's let's do this one, get the centrifuge done. And that actually is a reward. I didn't collect the reward on camera last time, but I did do that. And the next machine along here is the advanced steam turbine. Now it does tell you here, if you press shift under it, it says ID modern industrialization MV steam engine. So the MV means it's medium voltage. So we've got to do medium voltage to connect stuff out of here like that um, this machine here is the electric quarry what we need to do is put this the and the actual quarry in there so if I look here the recipe for the electric quarry is to put the steam quarry in it we're going to get that in a second but it's night time we'll have a quick sleep beforehand and then we will this is one that's very also very expensive that's the vacuum freezer and the uses of the vacuum freezer is to cool things down so we get these annealed hot copper ingots which to make copper ingots um hot chrome ingots which will make chrome ingots and canthal hot ingots which will make canthal ingots so all of these are actually all pretty important for for higher up machines a lot of these are basically stainless steel ingots so we have to get those hot but actually what i did here Let's go back and have a look at the uses of the electric quarry. Um, there's two uses of new stuff in here. One I don't think we need too much of, and that's... Uh -oh. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. It's time to have a little bit of a fight. I'll see you in a second. Well, sorry about that distraction. <laughs> I'm going to take... So we'll take the um, a vacuum freezer. I won't put it... Assemble it or put it down today. I might do the centrifuge. We will certainly do the steam turbine or the advanced steam turbine uh, As you can see I've got a few phantom brooms for that particular attack so elevated with <laughs> Enslaved winter now here for example. I've got a lot of recipes Prepared and these recipes are actually just to make stainless steel ingots and the reason for that is I was looking at the recipes for this wasn't I? all the usage of the electric steam quarry um, We can make so Surface so quartz from a fluids glass that's pretty useful one but the stainless steel item pipes will give us these materials which are harder to get so titanium tungsten uh, sheldonite iridium ores so th these will have almost no possibility of getting iridium ore this way but we can do that anyway we've got tons of eu matter so we can do that gold pipes will give us basically salt sand so salt stored basalt I'm not quite sure how much use the others are because they've got stacks of basically everything. Anyway, these recipes here were basically to produce a stainless steel pipe and the number of steps that we have to go through in order to do that. So, for example, we need to... So, from one, six ruby dust, we make one crushed, uh, crushed um, chrome dust. And then from two... No, from three crushed chrome dust, we make two crushed chrome... No, that's the wrong way around. So two of those makes three of these, basically. So chrome dust, we get three. And then we can smelt, smelt that, and then that makes these hot stainless steel ingots. Yeah, now then we put those together. Oh yes, that's right, this is a recipe. We also need manganese dust. Nickel dust and iron dust are not really a problem. Manganese dust will be a bit of a problem. And then that smelt that, that gives us the hot. Then we need to put it in the vacuum freezer to make it a stainless 
uh, a stainless steel ingot and then from that we can then make plates curved plates and eventually we can make the stainless steel item pipe a bit of a pain but let's have a look at what we have to do for manganese as it happens and um, that's quartz crushed just let's have a look at the, quickly have a look at this recipe anyway so we'll have a look again look at the uses of that so we need manganese um so we can go through the recipe for this one and then we can go through the recipe and recipe and then the recipe of this so we go through here is as you can see uh, and then the stainless steel dust recipe which is made in the mixer so we have chrome nickel which we've been through manganese the recipe for manganese is probably um industrial electrolyzer is different mods so i'm avoiding doing different mods that one is also maybe i have to use a different mod or maybe we use it from tiny manganese dust let's look at the recipe for tiny manganese indeed we do so we use that in the electrolyzer so we need some man manganese sulfuric solution um will make three tiny dust so we need three of these to make one dust the recipe for this is titanium crushed dust plus manganese sulfuric acid makes four hot titanium plus these man manganese sulfuric solution my goodness that's all there must be a different way of doing that because there's two ways isn't there what's this one manganese crushed dust plus sulfuric acid okay manganese crushed dust is made from iron crushed dust and that's it in the centrifuge so <laughs> there's a lot of ways to do this but it's going to be a bit of an, a bit of a pain in order to build that stuff anyway let's go and get the, the quarry from up here and take out the middle bit the bit here we want we will have to also remove this because this is the fluid input hatch and we don't need the fluid input hatch anymore because we need an MV input hatch. Oh, <clears throat> well, we, I probably can do this with an LV input hatch. I'm not exactly sure to be dead honest with you. We'll try both. So these, oh yes, these are still being made. So I need to get rid of this, put the silica disc into the system. Here I've got an import bus. So if I want to put it into this system, I just push it in like that. And then those get will then be in here. So that will have completed that one. So that's making silicon ingots, which is one of the things. And then we're making these. I'll tell you what, actually we're back in a second because we need the. Oh, we've actually got one of the holes in here. Let's have a look. So we've got one advanced machine hole. So the usage of this with a um, electron cable, we will make an MV energy input hatch. And we need one of those for the advanced steam turbine and i haven't got any i haven't got any uh, electrum cable better make some electrum cable um it looks like i haven't got any with me tell you what i'll be back in a second when this is finished well that's completed so what we can do is take an mv energy input hatch which we need what I can also do is to make a transformer so for example if we look at the uses of the advanced machine hull one of the recipes we can make these hopper well basically input and output hatches i would quite like to see one of these so if we haven't got a hopper then i shall make a hopper but <laughs> that's a shame so again look at the use of this i haven't got any hoppers there uh, is this one here is an mv to lv transformer i'm curious about this so let's make one of these as well because i haven't made one of those yet and i'll just go and get a hopper and be back in a second Okay, I now have a hopper, so we shall make an ad advanced item input hatch. And what we'll do is we'll put this down like this, and we'll have a look at what it can do in compared to the. Uh, so I thought, as, as I expected, now we have four inputs, so that's probably going to be very handy. I'm not sure for what just yet, but we will find something out. So the last thing we had to craft in here was the electric. Um, where has it gone to the electric quarry? So we just need to put the steam on in here, we get the electric quarry. So we have almost everything we need. Okay, and while I should since I've done this and we've got this challenge, let's um let's go back here and let's have a look at modern industrialization because we have got some quests completed. We've got the centrifuge, we've got the advanced steam turbine, so let's claim that. We're getting nice things here, circuits. <laughs> I'll say those are nice ones. Here we get another circuit for doing the centrifuge. And here we get a steel machine casing for doing the uh, 
I want that's probably quite handy as well. That would probably be good for making the input hatches for this or whatever, I guess. So the last thing here was oh, I didn't claim that one. Did I not claim that one? Was the, sorry, was the chemical reactor where we've made that, <clears throat> and I've been using it. So maybe all I have to do is break this. Hopefully, that's all I have to do. And I should get the reward for that quest completed. Yes, I have. <laughs> Unfortunately, having done that, it's messed up the automation on this. Never mind. So what? I... Oh, that's, an, that's the wrong hatch. That won't help, will it? But you see me fix this last time. Where's it gone to? Advanced steam turbine centrifuge. Nope. Chemical reactor here, like this. So we put this down. I have to go and mess around with the cables, but I'll do that in my own time. So let's go and put this together now. I should have some steam steam boilers. Yes, I need some more steam boilers, but we can set it up to start with and we'll have a look at it. So the electric quarry we will put down here in the middle. Like that. It'll be it'll be invalid until we put the hatch in. So we've got two hatches we could put in. Well, actually, we can put only one because I've only made the MV one. So we put that down here like that. So that is now ready. Um, so what I was going to do with the MV one is to attach that to this advanced steam. So that's advanced steam turbine. I might swap them around. I'm not sure just yet, but we'll, we'll just try this. So, for example, here I would like to put the advanced steam turbine. Where's it gone to? Yeah. And I'd like that to face this way. So I'm coming around here like that. So I want the output of here to go into this hatch. So we have to shift right click this. So it's got the output face here. They are a bit confusing these, I have to be honest with you. So if we look at this, we've got, for some reason it's got steam in it. I don't know how it got that. We haven't put, attached it to any steam yet. So we can use an electric cable here, and then we should be able to simply attach, shift right click that onto here, and then we have to use the wrench to connect it into the two bits. Like that side. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't attach, then the problem is you haven't got the right cables for the blocks like that so they connected in so that means it's working just fine so all I need to do now is to give this some steam um, how am I going to do that I think I'm going to attach some st steel cables to here uh, I will do that because I'm going to use I haven't got any with me so I'll just go and get some and come back in a second okay I got some pipes now so, electron cables, I've got some iron fluid pipes. We had these already made as it happens. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect that onto here. And this is going to be the steam input. Uh, no, we need the water as well. So we need a couple of pipes going in and the steam. No, we don't need steam coming, do we? Hold on a second. Yes, we do. We need, I know, sorry, I'm getting a bit confused. I need the boilers coming in here. So what I've got is multiple boilers. We've built these already uh, in fact I took two of them away from the from here one from here and two from the other from the other place what we can do is we can put these so that they're going to produce steam so the steam can attach to here so if we just put these onto this side of the pipe here I think this is what we want to do let's see if it works yes fine so we can put one on top of that and then we can press shift and put another one on top of it go up and press <coughs> And press shift again and be quick there we go so we've got these three connecting in here so all i want to do now is connect these three up so that they put steam into here let's do that that's all i need the i i need the i uh, where have they gone to the iron tin paper copper oh here we go so we just simply connect these on top of each other like like that press shift on here that should connect into that one so all we need to do now is to connect these coming out of here like that that goes out comes out of that one this should come out of that one and then at the bottom we should have that coming out of there so we need copper going into these let's put the copper on this side it doesn't make any difference 
They can be in the same block space or they can be separate. Since we've got copper coming up here, we can connect it across like this. We can do it like this. This will look quite reasonable, won't it? Or we could put it across on this side. It doesn't make any difference which way we do it. We could have put them down here like this and then break them across. <laughs> have we got one more down here? Yes, I have. So there we go. So <clears throat> let's just remove these. So you can shift right click them with the wrench and that'll remove these like that. And then all we need to do then is to make sure that these go into here. So I need to find the point where I have to connect them in, which in this case it'll be here. So that's good. That's good. And one in the middle. And you can see how the shape just changes to a small block, which is the width of the, the pipe, and that'll go through here. So this is correct. We want these to go in, but we want the steam to come out. So I should right click these twice with the wrench, each of the, of the iron ones like that so the last thing to do here is to connect in the uh, steam into the turbine so let's just do that like this so that's coming that's facing the right direction as you can see so we'll need to do that is put some fuel into these so I've got I've got three I've got some coke here let's just sort my inventory we'll just take these and split them into three let's see what happens it didn't split too well I want four in one let's go right like that so I'll put those in, oops, I need to not do that. I need to click these with something else. That's right, so we can put four into there. That's going to be making steam. Four into here is also going to be making steam. And four and three into this one. So these are all producing steam. So that should now have some power in it. In fact, you can see that the steam is going up. And the power is probably coming in here. Yes, you can just see it's coming in. So as these machines are slightly different they should have an efficiency level on them I think if we look at the electric one here no there is an efficiency <clears throat> I'm not sure what especially on the electric machines you'll see an efficiency I'm not sure if I'm seeing it in here but we should see it in the quarry somewhere so move the pipe in from my hand and just have a look just right click it no it's not telling me I've seen it before so as you can see, these three are now powering up the t advanced steam turbine, which is connecting in here. Um, I did not have to change any faces on these for them to make sure that the output comes from this side. Uh, we can try that. I don't think it makes any difference for the turbines. I think it comes, steam comes out automatically from all of the faces. Um, oh, I've got no steam coming into the into here, so we need to put one down piece of pipe work down here maybe we can simply click this across and the copper pipes will automatically join in so let's just try that there we go actually that looks neater anyway doesn't it so now steam's coming into this to the water pump which it needs of course to and it produce steam to produce water for the steam to uh, for the steam boilers so there we go wow the next thing we'll do is put some stuff into here and we'll see how it performs. I'll just go and get the stuff and we'll be back in a second. So I've been and collected some more. I made some more pipes. So we've got some steel pipes, we've got some bronze pipes, we've got some gold pipes. Item pipes, I think that's all. Yes, and we'll let these process. So now we should see this running. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's the efficiency as it runs. So it starts off at zero and it increases slightly. Uh, Every time it increases, the EU power requirement goes up. Uh, and unfortunately, with, even with three boilers here, we're not going to get enough steam to produce this into the advanced machine uh, turbine. We'll have to make a large steam boiler or an advanced steam boiler. What we can also do is, while I'm here, we can also do this. We can, I've got the centrifuge here. I've also got the MV, LV to MV um transformer the centrifuge if you press shift on it you'll see is an lv centrifuge so it's low voltage this one converts low voltage to medium voltage but if you put it in a crafting table you can reverse it so this converts medium voltage to low voltage so we can put this down here oh i got a, i got a reward for that i didn't know there was one of those anyway let's put this down here like that so that should connect into 
to here well, if we change the wrench and make sure it does connect in like that aha uh -huh, maybe not maybe you have to change the face <clears throat> so that's the output face so let's just simply make the output face on this side shift right click it and then that should connect in if i'm not mistaken yes it does so this has now got power in it so we can then take the output of here and put that into the centrifuge or we can either put it directly on it we won't do that for the time we'll just put put it down here like that and then we'll simply type put in some tin cable i think i've got some tin cable here put that down here like that and then make sure that connects in by coming along and right clicking it with a wrench i'll also right clicking it so things get a bit tricky but like that and this should now have power let's have a look i think i've just rotated it indeed it has so we've now got power so we can stick into here some um iron crushed dust which we can get fairly easily as it happens we don't have to reprocess iron twice so there we are so that is also how you do deal with power the only thing i made a mistake of here was these ones so for example it will automatically input stuff on this face if it was a hopper for example so if, at the moment i've set this one up here to be a, a steel input hatch but i've also made it that face to be to be this side so this auto auto insert is this is the one that needs this if i put a hopper on it i wouldn't have needed to do that it's the difference between those two things so shortly we should have some output stuff oh we've got some emeralds already that's not too bad go back along here and have a look at this you'll see that now the efficiency is gone up to 13 and the cost recipe cost is now 10 eu per recipe but what it means is it's just going faster you're not losing any power just going faster faster maybe it becomes i'm not sure if you get better rewards from it well we shall see what i could do if i wanted to make sure that one let's just come along here and take out these two and let it put something else in and we can put the steel pipe work item pipe back in again and let it process those in fact that's a bit weird i don't know how that i've got so many of those what have we got here I've got some bronze item pipe as well. We can put that into here. Oh, it's jumping around a bit. Well, I've gold item pipe. Yeah, that's right. That's good. Sort those. So that'll increase its efficiency, and at the same time produce some. We've now got some bauxite ore. I think that's how it's working. I'm not 100% sure. Next thing we're going to have a look at before we just before we go, because something I didn't do last time. In fact, it actually took me a while to figure this out. Anyway, here in the solid infuser, we have this recipe here and it's splitting the items up automatically but when i was doing some large processing i noticed it was wrong so what you have to do here you have to it says ignore the blocking mode you need to change the blocking mode to do not push crafting items if the inventory contains items and that way it doesn't mix up the recipes so that's important for any machine that takes more than one item and in fact there's a couple of those around i think the other one might be the chemical reactor i'm not 100 percent sure anyway i'll fix that in my own time right just before we go let's have a look at the quests and claim our rewards for those that's that was us from the centrifuge we've got the chemical reactor which i get two electrical electronic circuits which is actually great and the oil quarry electric quarry we did before so well, next time it looks like it's the oil drilling rig to be produced the distiller and the diesel generator so until next time i hope you've enjoyed this episode anyway until next time i wish you all the best bye for now <laughs>